Oh, g'day Scrappers, welcome to the 100 dome camera one hour challenge. Um, basically one hour, see if I can scrap all 100 dome cameras out. Now there's not a lot to them. These are actually brand new still. Um, and the reason why I've got to scrap them is it's part of my pickup agreement that these all have to be destroyed. They can't be sold. Um, so I can't sell them or pass them on or do anything with them apart from just uh, just scrap them out. So there's not a lot to them. They're just got a tiny little camera. They're only a generic brand. Um, you know, probably probably the the cheapest model dome cameras you can probably get and probably a little bit old anyway so that's okay i have to scrap them out so that's all i'll do and uh just uh for a bit of fun i thought i've got a hundred of them here and i thought uh, i might just uh see if i can do 100 cameras in less than an hour uh, because they're only small and not a lot to them there's only a little circuit board behind the uh, camera lens here and that's it and the rest is just for plastic recycling so there's not much value at all apart from the tiny little circuit board and the little cable that we've got here that's all um, the value so it's only um, they're probably only worth like 20 cents each in scrap um, but uh, it was part of a larger pickup and um, so these are the smallest ones that I've got and I've got so many of them I thought well might be a bit of fun just to scrap out 100 and just see how quick I can do them obviously because there's low value the quicker I can do them the uh, the better uh, the better it's going to be um, so yeah I figured well if I can do them in less than an hour then uh, we've got a bit of at least get some value out of them um, but uh, as I said not a great deal of value uh, the whole lot might end up being about twenty dollars in value in in the cable and the tiny little circuit board but the uh, little sensor on the circuit board I can take off for gold recovery um, it's a it's they're not CCD sensor they're a CMOS sensor which is very similar thing they've still got a bit of gold recovery so I'll show you that when I uh, get into it a little bit all right, so I'll just set up here and uh, we'll make a little start and uh, start scrapping these out. See how fast I can do them. Okay, let's go. going to take me a little bit to uh, get my hands moving. It's uh, pretty early in the morning. Once I start rolling it should uh, should be a little bit quicker. So that's just a little circuit board there. That's all we're really getting apart from the wire and that's the little CMOS sensor. So it's similar to a CCD sensor, except it's uh, called a CMOS. There's still gold recovery in there. And so what I'll do is I'll remove all these little sensors. They come off pretty easily and then sell the rest as a peripheral board or a mid-grade board. But I can still get these for gold recovery. Thank <laughs> you. 
So what we've got left here is just a little lens, but there's nothing much I can really do with them. They're only a really cheap lens anyway. They're not worth anything really. But I think I'll, um, I'll get through these pretty quick actually. Maybe these lenses, these little glass lenses might be, you know, good to give away to someone that's into arts and crafts and stuff like that. You never know. So I'll just continue on here. And... Get down to the last couple and then I'll uh, come back and uh, we'll uh, see how quick it took. I think I'm, it's certainly going to be inside one hour. Um, it's probably going to be quite a bit less. We'll see. Because they're all exactly the same, um, you know, it's just going to get easier and easier. Uh, so yeah so alright I'll come back when we're a little bit closer to the last six now so we're just about finished and it hasn't taken much time at all okay So I worked out a little bit a quicker system, doing a whole bunch like this so I just hold the screwdriver in my hand, I don't have to keep putting it down and uh, it's worked out much quicker. And that goes with a lot of things you scrap, if you've got a lot of the same thing. Um, 
once you get the hang of it and you start to, you know, teach yourself a, a little bit better system. All right, so, so uh, once again, um, don't know if I had the camera very good at the start. So that's the board there. I'd better turn off the uh, timer. Wow. Look at that. So 25 minutes. It I thought it was going to take, you know, closer to an hour. So 25 minutes just to um, to do 100 dome cameras. That's amazing. Wow. I didn't expect that. I just better make sure there wasn't Yep, 25 minutes. So that's the main thing we want. And I might just come around. Just come around and uh, just to make sure it's in, in camera view. So, okay, so this is the CMOS sensor. As I said, it's, it's uh, similar to the uh, CCD sensor. But this is a different version, CMOS. And if we can, they should just pop off. Okay. So that's all I want off that board. Um, you won't be able to see it. But there's on the sides here, there's fine bonding wires. So you know, they're pure gold bonding wires. Probably solid gold. And that's just the back of the CMOS. And um, so I'll keep these with just on their own as a separate little gold recovery item. Um, I'll probably put these with the CCD sensors because they're a similar thing. We've got silicon. Um, um, inside and germanium as well as aluminium and um, obviously the gold bonding wise and so that's the back of that there's nothing there and here we've just got a a little circuit board on the top here we do have a BGA chip but it's very very small and very hard to get off one, you know, you try to get them off, they just shatter. And there's a really tiny little gold crystal oscillator here. It's so small. Again, uh, trying to get them off, you're just going to get the top cover off and the ceramic will just shatter and you won't really be able to get that. You know, depends how fiddly you want to get. But me personally, I just prefer to just well, sell these as they are, just as a, a mid-grade or peripheral board. You know, they, they don't weigh anything really. So even though I've got a hundred now and I've got more cameras to do, so, you know, they're only going to be a few dollars in scrap. Um, but that's okay, because the main thing we've got is the CMOS sensor. And so we've got gold recovery at least from this. So we've just put this in the stockpile. All right, so that was 25 minutes. And my... So that's the box of uh, the plastic. There's some dirty plastic in there. So I've just got to figure out what to do with that. As I said, I might keep some of these lenses um, in case uh, I can give uh, a bunch of these away to a arty person. But the rest is just going to go in for plastic recycling. And the... end result is basically cables and the boards so I'll just uh, separate these cable and uh, so uh, still got it you know if I'm going to sell this as uh, mid-grade insulated wire 
need to remove these plugs, obviously. But um, in this case, because of these plugs are, you know, reasonably heavy compared to how much wire there is, there's really not much wire. So in this case, you're kind of better off just throwing it in with low grade because uh, spending time just cutting these off, you only, you're not getting really much extra value compared to low grade because um, it's about 50-50 in weight. So why spend the time? Might as well just throw it in low. So there's a bit of that. Just depends how I feel, but uh, because I've got so much going on at the moment, I've got a few pickups to do this week. So I'm trying to get rid of some of this stuff from last week. So there we go. A whole heap of um, CMOS sensors to take off uh, for gold recovery and um, yeah, and sell the and sell the rest as mid grade. So there you go, guys. That was 100 dome cameras done in 25 minutes. So that was 25 minutes uh, well spent. Um, sure, there are a lot other cameras that are a lot more difficult. Uh, take a lot more time, a lot more screws. This was just two screws, and because it was a reasonably cheaper model, um, I've got other dome cameras which are. Um, hang on. So I've got uh, another version of dome camera, which is these day night ones, and uh, this is all cast aluminium. So in there, so there's a few pieces of cast aluminium. There's more screws to take off. Uh, a lot more involved. So these would obviously take a little bit longer. These, you know, if if they these ones took 25 minutes to do 100, it'll it'll, it'll easy take an hour to do 100 of these. Um, but at least these have got better value because it's not plastic, you know. So we can sell the cast aluminium. But it's the same deal, um, you know. Obviously, uh, a lot of you will say, well, you know, I would have rather just for what you get out of them. I would have rather just try to sell them. Yeah, normally um, I I try to sell them, but um, these ones would be hard to sell anyway. But yeah, as I said at the start, the deal was that these are all going to be scrapped out completely and completely destroyed, and that's the agreement. You know, so none of them are for sale or to give away. Um, that's just uh, what happens sometimes, you know. Um, you, you know, the option is not to take the stuff and, and, and not have it. So I'd rather have stuff like this to scrap and um, and I'm happy just to do that, just scrap it all out and uh, get whatever value I can get out of it, you know. That's just how it goes. But anyway, all right, guys, well, I hope that was a bit of fun and, uh, yeah, quite surprising, 25 minutes to scrap uh, 100 you know, little dome cameras, even though they're small, that's still 25 minutes. That's uh, really good. Excellent. Took about what? That's about average of 25 seconds a uh, uh, camera. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, keep scrapping and I'll catch you next time.